35. This one's a 35. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Tony. I'm here at Surfside uh, this morning at my favorite uh, light drum fishing spot. I was here last week and I did pretty good. I had four big ones. The biggest one I had uh, hooked up was a uh, 3 inch. The smallest one I hooked up was a 34 inch. To four pieces. I'm gonna trim off the legs. So basically, trim off the leg, trim off the legs, and then cut it into four quarters. Yeah. And the basic setup I have is very simple. I got my leader line straight from Walmart. It's got two hooks on it. set up uh, with a surf rod because uh, you need a heavy duty rod and reel to bring these big fish up. Over here, um, they're mostly big fish, no small fish. Yeah. So this rod is a 12 and a half footer. It's 12 and a half footer. This one, this wheel has got 50 pound line on it. I haven't set up yet that has 50 pound, 60, 60 pound line on it. Yeah. So both of them are about the same length. See, so this is how the spider work, sinker works. It has these wires that you can bend back and forth. And you bend it like this when you throw it, it'll grab onto as you tighten your line. It'll grab hold it in place and then pull it up real hard it bends and it lets go
was big. It was heavy, real heavy. Still taking drag. You can hear the drum in his stomach. He's coming in his stomach. slow today but the tide is starting to turn it's starting to come back up so it's starting to bite last week when I came it was around it stopped biting around 12 o'clock within like an hour and a half cut four of them
I didn't hear the drag going because the boat was flying by. Yeah. Another, another huge one. Oh my god, look at him go. This rod right here, this rod and reel, has gotten uh, two today. Last week had three, total five on this on this uh, pole. Bigger than the last one. This one's about 40 inch at least. Holy smokes. Look at that monster. Look at the monster. Oh. Oh, it's still going. Where are you going, my friend? Come in here. Got a little. I think this is probably the, one of the biggest one I've caught so far. Oh my gosh! That one! The biggest one I've caught so far. Definitely. I don't think I can lift this one up. I don't think I can lift this one up. Let's see how, 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 how big he is. I've caught so far. 41 inches. I don't know if I can lift this one. He's big. A she. Could be a she. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh, it's heavy. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Woo. Oh. I think I got another bite. I think I got another bite. Oh, I have another bite. Oh, he's coming in here. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh, he's gone. He's way over there. Holy smoke. Got another one. and he freaking came in short. Black drum too. <laughs> it's like a red. It's a black. This one's uh, uh, just as long but um, thinner. Oh. So red. I thought he was a red fish. This one is freaking at least 70 pounds, 70, 75 pounds at least. Whoo, 70 pounds at least. All right, off, off he's gonna go. Bait. Now I'm just using the claws. Yep, I'm out of bait.
you're just using claws now. You're just using claws. Uh, no more. No more. Okay. Of a big sheephead. Oh, yeah. They're good eating. Keeping this one. I guess the claws work too. The sheephead bit the claw. It's got strong jars and teeth look like human teeth and it was gr it was grinding and it's got a bunch of teeth on the inside too on the inside of his mouth that's why I was able to eat the, the crab claw it was munching on it it was grinding it down with the, the inner the inner teeth 